salary negotiation finally the video about it earn the salary that you deserve right in this video i'm going to discuss about the how i have done the salary negotiation i have changed almost like seven to eight companies throughout my 10 or 11 years of experience right as a software disturb but you know what salary negotiation is one of the most important skills that everyone should learn if you don't know if you have not learned these concepts like right? see Trust me, nobody is actually teaching you, but only it will generally come whenever you have some experience or through someone experience, you can get this, right? You will lose a lot of money if you basically don't learn this skill properly, all right? In this video, I'm going to talk about the five important points, how to negotiate salary as a software tester, developer, designer, or any, any software engineer, right? And how I have done it and how I have done it almost like Every time I have switched, right, I have almost like 1.2x to almost like doubled. I have done it multiple, multiple times, right? How I have done it, what exactly are the details? Let's jump into it. If you are not learning about the salary reposition, right, trust me, you will think that, okay, I am underpaid, um, I am undervalued, right? That's the situation that you don't have to be in. That, that's why please watch this video till the end and you can make it 1.5x if you want, all right? Let's start with the number one. Number one is the research about the company. Guys, you have to research about the salary you will show which position that you are applying. You know what? When I was applying for a software testing job, right? Job, right? As a fresher, I knew that uh, for a fresher, it was 2.2.8 lakhs per annum in INR. I'm talking about two, seven or eight as a fresher, you can get it, right? So I had an exactly the number, which uh, what is a lower band that we have, which is 2.2.8 lakhs uh, per annum. And what is the upper band? Generally, fresher at that time when I when I started, right, around 11 ish or 12 ish, right, people are getting almost like seven lakh maximum as a fresher, right, at that time, right. So how you can do it? Promote? I don't know. I have not researched it. Research it. I don't know how to research those things, right? Very very easy. There are websites like LinkedIn Salary, Payscale, right. Uh, you can ask HRs also on the LinkedIn also, right. You can ask some other people who have already joined, right. Research about the income bracket or a range that's the super super important thing you should be aware about it right don't undervalue yourself don't underpaid yourself right number one reason why i was able to switch or why why i was able to always 1.5x my salary was the reason was i always ask the higher side of the bank which means consider like this suppose this is a bank right this is a lower side and this is a higher side 2.827 this is a scale right always ask the higher side from the hr that's the point that's the rule number one that you have to remember first of all research and ask the higher side that's the only way you know what why this uh, this rule works right for me as well as for my other students also the reason is very simple because whenever you ask high right your hrs will be bring you down to the budget that they have right you can ask for the budget also from the hr i have done it multiple material time right but budget generally you have to ask whenever when you are a experienced person right when you are a fresher then directly they will generally mention that okay we have a, a fresher opening for 3.5 5 or 4 lakhs or whatever it is right so if you're experienced person research ask for higher side and the budget three things you can ask there's no problem in that and that's how the rule number one for salary negotiation one one okay now let's jump into the number two which is know your worth guys don't be undervalue yourself don't underpay don't get underpaid please ask yourself what is the number that you really want so when i was joining browser strike right as a qa lead i asked this question multiple times to myself okay what is the number that i'm looking for okay for example suppose i have some x amount right i want to reach to y what exactly is a why? If I'm getting why, then only I will join that company. One of the important or exercise you have to think about, right? Take out some time, right? Uh, if you have some time, you have park or somewhere where you can just roam around, right? For some other time, right? Take out half an hour. Think about it for a number, right? Guys, we don't think about our salary. We just are so desperate to join some other company, right? That's not exactly the process, right? Think about it. Have a number in your mind. Okay, I want this package. If I deserve it, Plus minus one, two, it's fine. But if I'm getting very, very low, then definitely I need to improve my skills and I need to work on it, right? That's the important point. So that's the second important point for the salary negotiation, right? And always let your HR know that you deserve a higher salary 
this thing you have to convince them that i deserve higher salary because i am good i deliver on the projects and i am the person who you are exactly looking for that's the important point right tip number 3 stay positive don't be afraid don't get un- underpaid the reason you are getting underpaid is that you are desperate and you have joined a company where you are desperate they are not desperate if you are great if you are confident hr will definitely band and they will try to find they will try to find you right multiple hrs have found me through the linkedin because i think i deserve some important things right i am stay i am staying positive i have some knowledge right that's why so this is for experienced person for freshers i would suggest uh, take out some time have like one or two three offers then only make a decision rather than directly joining a no low job in on your first go that's what you don't have to do right that's one of the mistake i have done also when i was a fresher i was so desperate to join any company so i have joined any random company and that hit me back right that basically hit me back also right so please take out some time be prepared uh, increment of a technique one of the technique that you can try is that increment of a technique if you have a job here you can say that okay I have tried this multiple times. For example, if you are getting an increment in a in sub in your existing company, right? You can tell them that okay, I am already getting a five percent increment. Can you give me seven percent or ten percent increment? Right? That's what you can ask. Right? Or double offer technique. If you already have a com- offer from a co- company, then you can ask okay that okay I already have a offer. Give me more than that. Right? This works very time. This is a one of the salary negotiation technique that one on one. Keep this video handy whenever you are having these kind of salary negotiation with your HRs. Right? Watch the four or five point which I am saying about. Keep them remind yourself and then take a decision. Trust me, it will very very helpful for this. This video is super helpful for anyone who have done it. Uh, I have done it multiple times. That's what I am adding all the real world examples. So increment over technique, double over technique. Uh, give it a try and let me know how it works. Right? Ask for what you want. Okay? Whatever you are asking, right? For example, you are asking. Okay, uh, I want X amount. Multiply it with one point one point two X. Trust me, HR will bring you down if the if the budget is not present. But for example, suppose I am asking five point uh, five lakhs, right? Multiply with one point two x, right? Ask that amount, and trust me, HR will bring you down, right? Don't ask less than that. Okay, I am so desperate, I want to join. Please give me three point five. I am fine. No, no, you don't have to do it. Trust me, it doesn't work. It will harm your career at the low uh, higher level. Okay, that's the important thing. Be flexible. Again, don't settle for low. That's the rule number one. Don't settle for low. Nothing bad will happen. Trust me. If you are not getting an, a, a, the amount that you deserve, trust me, there will be a next company you will hundred percent find another company which will give you a better offer. So there are no problem uh, in the market. Definitely, you will get a new offer on this year, right? So these are these are the salary negotiation techniques, right? Uh, I hope that is helpful. Be patient and ask more. That's the overall conclusion in uh, that I basically want to give you, right? I hope this was helpful. Uh, all the tips, right? Let me know in the comment what you think about it. What are the salary negotiation that you have done? What are the problem that you are facing while discussing the salary with your HRs? Let me know in the comments. I will be happy to help. I will be happy to help. discuss about this, right? And if you like this video, let me know. Just type "send me" in the comment, and it means uh, if you have learned something new from this video, from my experience also. Right? Uh, thanks a lot for joining. If you are new subscriber, consider subscribing. I create videos around software testing, test automation, and the normal productivity tips for software testers and engineers. Right? If you are a existing subscriber, thanks a lot for joining. Right? And please share this video with someone who needs or someone who is basically right now discussing salary with your child. Right? Please make sure you bookmark this video and keep it handy. It will be helpful for you. All right. This is your host Pramod. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.